welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my patriotic summer home tour. First, I'm going to do a quick run through of what I have to decorate with, and then I will take you on the tour. I really enjoyed creating these moments throughout our home, and I am so excited to share them with you. If you are new to my channel, I really enjoy sharing my home decor throughout the seasons and DIY projects. So if that interests you, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. Please comment and let me know what you think of my decor below. I hope this inspires you. Hey, we're in my office and I'm gonna go ahead and go through what decor I already have for the 4th of July. And I wanna say I did not buy all this this year. I have collected throughout the years. I've made some things and um, I have some new things I'm gonna be making this year. I will go ahead and start with this wreath here. I made this last year and I saw it on Pinterest and all it is is um, navy blue, red and white um, hydrangeas. And what I've done is, um, you know, it kind of looks like the stars and stripes of the American flag. And um, all I did was I had this 32 inch wreath form and I zip tied these hydrangeas on. And then over here I've got, um, I had to incorporate some other blue flowers because it was really hard to find the right blue hydrangeas. And, um, I believe I got these actually at Walmart and I just um, filled them in where I had gaps but um, like I said it's just zip tied on there it's a wire wreath form and um, then I just glued these stars on there there's not 50 of them but you know it's just you know you get the gist and I just love this it's my favorite um, came out great it's a great scale for our door our door is nine feet tall and so we really need a big wreath for it and then here I've just got a bunch of flowers that I will put throughout. Um, these will probably go in my urn outside. They look very realistic with the daisies. And um, they just add a pop to the front door. And these other ones, um, they're just in containers right now. And I'll place them throughout the house. And then I've got these flags here that I'll probably stick in some vases or something. And then this welcome sign I got at Hobby Lobby um, like three or four years ago. And I just put it out by the front door every year. And then over here I've got some stuff for um, banners. And I'm trying to go for like a vintage glam theme. But really keep it vintage. And um, I really like this banner because it's got like burlap. And it's, um, I don't know, it just looks very vintage American. And then I also got, because it's me, these glitter um banners and uh, this one says like USA and 4th of July and it's got stars and stuff and I might try to figure out a way to stress the glitter if that's possible. We'll see. That'll be one of my DIYs in this project. And then um, over here on the table I have a bunch of random things. I'm going to be decorating the entryway table, the fireplace, the coffee table in the living room. Um, maybe an arrangement for the kitchen island and maybe something on the dining room table. And then I'm also obviously doing the front door. But um, these are the things I have to incorporate. And I'm going to be doing some DIYs along the way too that I'll try to share. But I'll start back here. I've got different candle options and candlesticks. And I've already started playing with how I'm going to maybe display these. And then I've got some mason jars. I've got these two gray ones and this red one. And um, I can use those throughout. These mason jars are from my baby shower. My sister actually painted these and they're really pretty. Um, and um, then I have some flags to put throughout. These little um, windmills that I'll probably put outside in one of the planters or something. And I got this gnome too. He'll go somewhere. And then I have these two signs that I got this year at Hobby Lobby. And I love the wood tones on this. And it says Home of the Free and Because of the Brave. And then um, the other one says America the Beautiful, and I just love the colors of this one. I'm trying to incorporate more navy blue this year. Um, and then I've got this vintage plate um, from New Orleans. Um, it's actually I found it here in Houston at um, a antique shop, and I think it'll be great to layer it in somewhere. And then also use the silver tray somewhere. 
And I've got um, these two little reefs from Hobby Lobby this year, and I'll be putting those in the kitchen. And then I just got this bead garland that I'll put somewhere, probably on the entry table or something. And I might play with these using some doilies. I'm not sure. I don't ever really incorporate these into my decor. But um, I don't know. It could be a cute little vintage look. We'll see what I do with there. And then I've got these two uh, navy blue book boxes that I want to use somewhere to help prop something up or something. Um, I've got a couple of these glass star dishes left over from a baby shower I threw a couple years back. It was a for a boy, Avengers themed. And um, I might mercury glass spray these, mer mirror glass. Um, I've done that technique before in another video and I can link that below. And then this Beanie Baby is um, from my mother-in-law. She used to collect them and I don't know, it'd be fun to include it for kids. They love Beanie Babies. Um, and then this uh, American flag fan I'll put somewhere and I've got these extra ribbons too that I think I got on clearance last year um, at the end of the season and uh, I'll either use them as is or I'll cut them up and put them around a vase or something or a lantern we'll see but yeah that's about it for the decor I have a couple other things coming in but they're really just uh, some picks and you'll see those when I do the final tour but really I'm going to streamline this and just show you the before picture of what the area looked like and then I'm going to decorate it and I'll take you through the after. I'm not really going to show the process. I just, with baby and all that, it's hard to film all that. Um, so that's it guys. I hope this inspires you and I hope you enjoy it. On our front porch, on our doorway, I have this wreath that I made with the red and white and blue hydrangeas and added the stars to mimic the flag and then we have this welcome sign hanging that's from Hobby Lobby and we have our topiary dog down here and I like to style him every season and he's got his little flare on for the 4th of July and then over here I have this urn with some red white and blue flowers and they're fake they're from Walmart and um, I think they look pretty realistic though and then our gnome he's always here and then over here, I just put some little flags with our ferns and these little windmills. And so that's our front porch. Here in our entryway, we have this niche that I struggle with normally to decorate, but I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, just up top, I have this book box and I have um, that star right here. It's actually a candy dish that I got for a birthday party. And we made a Captain America fruit tray and there was like whipped cream in there for the star. Well, I ended up uh, just mercury glass spraying this. Um, and I'll have that technique. I'll link the video below. I do this with a lot of my stuff. I just love mercury glass, the look of that. But I think it looks cool. And I have another one out in the living room that I'll show you. And then I just have this uh, picture that I printed and stained to look antiqued of an eagle. And another American flag back there and then down here I just have this uh, dried eucalyptus that I got at Walmart and this is another one of those vases that I actually ended up doing myself um, to make it look more like mercury glass and uh, like I said I'll link that video below but I really like how this turned out so this is our entryway table and I really love styling this area I'll start on the left and um, go through what I've done. So over here we have our normal lamp that's here and I got this little beaded garland from Hobby Lobby and it says freedom. And then there's a Thai Beanie Baby that um, my mother-in-law, she collected Beanie Babies and um, we inherited a bunch of them from her and so I thought it'd be fun to put on display for the kids. They love all the Beanie Babies and it's just fun to have that memory of her. And then I just have a red candle over here, and um, this print says uh, We the People, and it's got another eagle on it. And then this is one of my favorite things. Again, another one of those vases that I made antique mercury glass looking. But um, I love this arrangement. I incorporated some blueberries, and I love how they hang down, and um, it's just really pretty. 
I got some hydrangeas in there and some roses and then um, I'm not really sure what these white flowers are. They kind of remind me of cherry blossoms, but I'm not sure they are. And then another flag sticking in there. And then I have it propped up on um, this book box and um, this um, handkerchief right here is from my grandma and I inherited that. It's, a, it's nice to just put out vintage pieces that you can remember your loved ones. And then I used a bunch of these little doilies from the Dollar Tree when I decorated and I think it just adds some good vintage flair to the look I was going for. So again, I just love this moment. And then over here, I just have, um, this is just a night from, uh, supposed to be a night from Jess, but I don't know, horses are patriotic. Um, another candle. And then here, another one of my favorite moments. So I got this at Home Goods, this vase, and it's just like, um, I think it's supposed to be like a Greek lady or something, but um, it's like sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. And um, I put these ferns in it, and I'm like, that looks like Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty. So it kind of works, you know? And she's on um, two of these blue book boxes. These are from um, Hobby Lobby as well, and so is this little heart-shaped wreath that looks like um, the flag with the red, white, and blue. And then again, I used another one of those uh, little doilies from the Dollar Tree, and I think it just adds a nice little layer. So again, this is another one of my favorite moments. I really love how this entry table turned out. Okay, so on the kitchen island, I just have this little um, cutting board that my mom got for me and I put these legs on it and they're just knobs that I glued on with E6000 and I always display things on this board on the island and um, left to right I just have these faux blueberries and this red jar and I believe this red jar is actually from like a Valentine's Day gift that my husband had delivered to me when we first started dating. And then I have this black pedestal with this crystal candy jar on it. And I stuck some, they're just uh, red berries from Christmas in there. But it gives it that red pop. And if we get any treats, I can put them in there. But I don't really have any candy I want to put in there. And then here on the right is this one of the mason jars my sister painted for my baby shower last year. And I think she did such a great job with the finish. And then I just have these faux babies breath in there but I think it's a nice little moment on the island so then here in the corner of the kitchen I have this little I'm gonna say it's like a lemonade inspired display um, I have our lemon squeezer here for when I do want to cut up these lemons and make some lemon water it's very refreshing um, and on the silver tray I have the lemons on display and then the strawberries they are faux our real strawberries stay in the fridge but um it's a nice pop of red and they look real to me. And then I have my crystal also here on display. Um, it's really just glass, etched glass. Um, and I think it's just beautiful. I don't really ever use these. I just like to put them in our china cabinet. And um, right now they're out on display for decor. And then I have this blue pitcher with some white flowers in it and this uh, plate with some roses on it and it's white and blue. Going for that red, white, and blue, patriotic. And again, another one of those Dollar Tree doilies, which I never thought in my life I would decorate with, but I think they look very nice. And um, this board is just a cutting board that I bought, and then I added these little black feet to it. I just like elevating my cutting boards. Um, so that's that little moment here in the corner of the kitchen. Okay, so then over here, in our dining room breakfast room. Um, I have this little centerpiece going on with, um, I'll go left to right. Um, this is just a charger from the Dollar Tree, a silver charger with um, a glass cookie jar on it. And I got these cookies from Walmart and I had some similar ones for Valentine's Day and they're just cute, they have fireworks in USA, very patriotic star uh, cookies. And then, um, in the middle, I've had this mason jar for a while now. I believe it's actually from Christmas time a few years back. It was one of the Christmas decor that came with the Christmas picks in it. And um, I use it for a vase. And I put some red, white, and blue flowers in it and another flag. 
And then um, I have a blue candle and a red candle that I already had and these napkins for if you want to grab a cookie, you can just grab a napkin with it. And then here I just have this, um, some more of those faux strawberries on display. Um, I'll probably end up putting something else in here. I just haven't gotten around to figuring out what to do there. But it's just on a stand. But I think it all balances out well with the long table. And then in the back here, I just recently did this. This has nothing to do with 4th of July, but I think it came out great. can't really see it that well with the light right now, but um, I'll have to talk more about that in another video. But it's just a lantern that I got at um, Hobby Lobby that was on clearance because the glass was broken. And so I've had it for like a year and a half and I couldn't figure out what I want to do with it. And I ended up breaking the glass out of it, the remaining glass. And then I stuck foam in there and I put a bunch of fern picks in there to make it like a fern was growing out of it. And then I added these crystals to it. And I also did, I sprayed this lantern black because it was like more of a rusty brown color and um, I wanted it to be black to go with my decor which ends up happening a lot. I end up having to customize and spray my own things to make them look the way I would like for them to with my house. And then here another actually this vase I mean this uh, lamp actually it was a clear glass with some brown wood on it and um, a different shade and I ended up spraying at this mirror silver. I think it came out pretty good. And then I have another crystal. Uh, that's a vintage find actually. I found this at an antique store and I put these little fans in it. And then below I just have um, our stuff for 4th of July um, ready to go. Our utensils and napkins and straws. And so that's this area of the house. And again, I'm loving this. It took me six months to actually figure out how to how to achieve what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, so this is our little eating area. So now and we're in the living room, and this is our coffee table. Um, and I just did this simple floral arrangement. I've had these uh, patriotic flowers for a while, and they added some uh, roses and these white flowers. And there's a little gnome poking out. Um, I think it's cute. It's in this little ginger jar and um, then I have a red and blue candle and there's another one of those uh, glass candy dishes that I sprayed with the mirror paint and I have a silver tray. I have two silver trays here and then this crystal vase, another um, vintage find and I just put a topiary uh, box of ball in there because that balances out with what we have going on in the fireplace and in the living room in general. So then I'll take you over to the fireplace and on here, um, I guess I can start with the center. I, um, this is a vintage find too from a long time ago and I'm from New Orleans and it's a China plate. Um, it's New Orleans themed and uh, it's blue and white and it looks great in the middle of the fireplace and um, I balanced that out with two silver trays again these are from the Dollar Tree and then these mercury glass uh, vases are from Target Dollar Spot and I put two flags in them and then I have the boxwood balls flanking that and then here on the right we have another one of those Hobby Lobby mini wreaths and um, this lantern with um, a white candle and some more boxwood in it and then over here I have this America the Beautiful sign that I found at Hobby Lobby this year and I balanced it out with um, these candles, red, white, and blue candles and these little black candle holders that fit the space pretty well. And then this banner here, Walmart has this this year and it's actually got, I ended up getting two and making them one because it comes with um, a brown. It's brown, blue, brown, blue, brown, blue. And I took the brown ones off because they just weren't working for me in my space. And I just made it the blue, red, white, and blue. And I really like this uh, rusty red. And then I ended up getting the matching um, bow. And I took the brown parts of the burlap off and just left it like this. And I think it looks great. And this is our fireplace. 
I just like, I think it's vintage and it fits the flow of our house with our built-ins and all. So here in our master, I like to always do something on the entry table for the holiday. And um, here I have another one of those vases that I, I know I'm obsessed. I sprayed it to look like mercury glass. And um, I put red, white, and blue flowers in this. And a lot of these flowers I can use for different seasons because they're just solid colors. So like for Christmas, I can use the red ones more. or um, I can even use the white ones. I just like to change them up and just see what I can come up with. And I think this is a pretty arrangement here. Okay, so then one last moment here. This is the top of the stairs that leads to the kids' bedrooms. And I thought it'd be fun to do like a um, military theme up here. And um, I have, uh, it says, home of the free because of the brave. And then I have my son, he loves these toy soldiers. And um, I have them on display here. And um, he's got them all throughout his room doing different things. I thought it'd be fun for him to see them like this. And then we have the Captain America shield because, you know, our kids love the Avengers. And we have Wonder Woman to represent the female. And um, then we have The Rock because I believe this is from the G.I. Joe movie. And that's his action figure from it. And I don't know. It's just a fun moment. And then up here is just... Um, some white pampas grass from Michaels and I have this um, star ribbon cascading down the side of it and a flag and that's it cute little moment for the kiddos I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe thank you